where I came out of the water, um, and then yeah, you know, we had the bike. The bike course is actually really fun, and you know we had a lot of uh, fast uh, corners and stuff. And to come across the finish line, one, two, three, with Team USA, I just I don't think it could get any better. Well, I've never gotten a penalty before, so I saw my number up there, and I just thought, stop! <laughs> I stopped and took it, and um, you know I guess it's something the. You never want it to happen, but it does, so uh, I try to avoid that. I'm, uh, you know, I didn't think I'd be quite here at this point in the season. I had a pretty slow start. You know, January, I was still in snow. Um, actually, up until like partway through February, so uh, I wasn't expecting to be fighting for a podium until maybe London in a couple months' time, so it's ahead of schedule. I can't complain. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, right now our federation's pretty pleased. We have I want to say at least four women in the top 10 WTS rankings. Um, you know, we have a whole bunch of really strong up and comers. So those young guns nipping at my heels have kept me honest. You know, I've, I've had a slow start this season, but I knew I couldn't have too slow of a start. You know, I think it was uh, when I got here, I found out it was more difficult and challenging than what it looks like on paper. There were little bumps, the water was a little rough and had a current. So, uh, and the run had that hill in it to make everything just a little bit more challenging and that's the type of thing I prefer. I like when there's little elements to make it more difficult. That's bloody hard. Um, yeah, that was a real welcome back to racing. Hello. Um, shock to the system, but oh, I've, I came here with, um, see how I was going. And I definitely got shown how I was going and there is a lot of work to do, so um, I've got to go and recover from this and work harder and get back to, you know, where I was and beyond that. You know, I was hoping not to be this far back, but, you know, this happens. It's, it hasn't been the most ideal road, but you got to roll with the punches every now and again. And, um, yeah, like I said, it's about finding that and then working towards where I've got to get to, which is a long way up the road. So, now it's time for tomorrow to get back into it, I guess. I was in a lot better position than I was in Auckland. Um, the pace was on in the bike. It worked really hard to try and um, catch that first group initially and then unfortunately we didn't bridge right across to the front pack but um, yeah I could feel it in my legs for sure <laughs> come, come the run. Um, I mean I was super excited going into the race um, you know we don't really have the opportunity to race at home in Australia very often so I was excited to come and you know go better than what I have in the previous two races but yeah, today was a bit of a struggle for me, unfortunately, um, just from the very start, and I struggled a lot on the run with the heat. Um, it's a bit of a weakness for me, so, yeah, it's a bit, a bit disappointing to have my worst race so far here, but it happens.